Well, at first Amanda was uh, thought to have pneumonia and uh, we had her to the clinic uh, four times and uh, five days before she was diagnosed and then finally uh, took her to Central DuPage Hospital where we uh, found out late that night that uh, she was diagnosed with leukemia. And so they had to uh, take Amanda to Loyola University Medical Center uh, because of the, um, uh, the criticalness of her uh, situation. And uh, she was there in intensive care for um, a few days. And uh, for the first few days, it was only about 50-50 that she would uh, be able to survive for the first few days. And then um, since that time, over the last four years, uh, she's been in the hospital, uh, well, we've lost count, but 30 to 40 times, and uh, been in intensive care probably three different times. The church has uh, done so many things to support us through uh, these three or four years, uh, right from the very day that Amanda was diagnosed. And then um, immediately uh, after that, just I think prayer has been the preeminent uh, thing through all of this uh, in terms of the support that we've received. And we receive so many types of different support. Prayer is the one that has just been the most uh, appreciated and the most fantastic. Uh, the Sojourners Adult Community uh, has been uh, fantastic. Uh, as soon as Amanda was diagnosed, they created a 24-hour a day uh, prayer uh, chain so that at every minute of the day, someone was praying specifically for Amanda. And that went on for about two months. And on the other end of the spectrum, people came and mowed our lawn. They did our laundry, um, uh, brought, um, uh, I don't know, scores of meals over. I, you know, I, we didn't count, but it's just scores of them. We were sleeping always with her, one of us or the other of us, when you have a child in the hospital, you stay with them, and you're with them. You want to know what's happening to them medically, and you're in charge, you're their advocate. So um, we would take turns. Um, a lot of times John and I didn't see each other. Um, meals were really helpful because you get tired of fast food and you worry about your other kids as the mother, and you want your other kids to have something good to eat and you're not there to do it. And um, or you're a long day at clinic for treatment and you're coming home and it's six or seven at night and what are you gonna put on the table? So that was much appreciated. And what I sensed was the, the blessing that, that we received in seeing others uh, just willing to, to give of themselves. It was a wonderful experience to go to pick up my friend from her chemotherapy treatment and see a little girl there, Amanda Walker, who had been through so much herself with her leukemia. When I got there, Amanda had brought a little teddy bear for my friend to hold and to bring to each of her chemotherapy treatments. It was her way of passing on the love and the support that she had been shown. Thank you very much for praying for me, and I really appreciate it. And it really be a scary time without you.